Hey guys, welcome back to the deep freeze. So I'm sure at this point you're probably sick of seeing me stretch, but as you could probably tell based off the title, my hamstring pulled up a little bit sore after deadlifting yesterday. And I know I didn't do a lot of deadlifting, but I'll probably put that down to the fact that I haven't done it for a while. So that's probably why I pulled up a little bit sore. So today I'm gonna take a more conservative approach and I'm just going to be doing some stretching and just some really light rehab exercises uh, with no weight. Just taking my hamstring through a pain-free range of motion. Because I think at the moment that's probably the best thing for me. And just look, look how bad that stretch is. So first up we've got the single leg glute bridges. Or as some people like to call them, the training for Valentine's Day. <laughs> can never start training too early it's only like three months away you know no I'm kidding but these ones like I said the other day pretty good for that whole posterior chain and I also find they help um, just to get some good mind muscle connection in the in the hamstrings and the glutes so yeah like I said pretty good exercise but yeah, I want to have a quick chat about why I think my hamstring is sore yesterday I mean obviously the main reason it's probably sore is because of the deadlifting yesterday. I mean, I hadn't deadlifted in like three months, and then I just went and tried 80, which I guess isn't too much. It's only like 50% of my 1RM, but I guess it's still a pretty big jump when your hamstring is still kind of sore. But yeah, What I reckon are uh, other factors that are important in not just my rehab, but any muscle or injury rehab is I have not been getting uh, like good quality sleep in probably like the last week or so and I attribute that to the fact that I have exams at the moment and I know it's just an excuse but I mean I guess it is one of those things that can play a role so I probably need to get on top of that and do a little bit better at making sure I get sleep and trying to de-stress a bit so my hamstring doesn't suffer so much. So we're going to take a different angle at training the hip flexors today because I know in the other videos you've seen me do it with the dumbbell but this way I want to get the hip, flex hip flexors working and also I want to train my core a little bit because having a strong core or well, strengthening my core is going to help me in my endeavor to fix my hamstring. So yeah, I decided to kill two birds with one stone do a hip flexor exercise and also get a bit of core work in. But yeah, so not a very long vlog, but that's it for me today. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow in the next one and my hamstring won't be too painful.